Hey guys, it's Denali. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a full-time online clothing reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. Today I am here with a remainder of some <laughs> huge mungus hauls. Uh, I have been getting taxed with my energy and I can never finish them because they always go over an hour. So today we are going to finish them out and I counted a moment ago, but it was like 11 bags or bins of stuff. I have to show you. So this is a nice long haul. So if you are working and you want somebody to hang out with, I'm your gal. Let's get into this. I picked up accessories and clothing. So that's kind of the remainder of what I have to show you today. If I had to guess, this is easily another 100 pounds of clothing to show you, if not more. It could be 150, to be honest with you. But let's jump right into it. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I'm staring at everything all at once. Okay, I'm gonna probably leave the accessory items till last. So if you're wanting to see that, I'll put the minute marker in the description down below with the chapters. But sure, let's start with this. I think it's a men's blazer. And yeah, it's Oscar De La Renta. And it's just a men's blazer. I sell on many, many, many different platforms. So for this one, I will send this off to The Real Real. It is an online consignment luxury clothing website. It is a brand that they accept. So I'm gonna let them deal with it because I don't really want to. Okay, oh my gosh, I just pulled one thing and four things fell. The next item I have to show you is this Theory dress. It's really pretty and it's got satin panels and it's satin on the back. The only kind of not great thing is there is some markings here like deodorant marks. So I do have some baby wipes, just any sort of baby wipes that you want to use. I'll probably like blot those on there and see if they go away. Other than that, we'll just note the flaw. There's also, okay, here we go. Like a little loose string here on the back. Again, maybe if I can like knot it up, you know, so it does, it's not hanging loose. I will do that. So anyways, theory size eight. This is old tag theory if you're not familiar with their tags. I all, I never know where to throw this stuff. So I'm like, I'll throw that there, this here. <laughs> a million different places. What is this? These look like pants. Oh, this is um, old tag. Look at that. Anthropology. So yeah, it's just the Anthropology house brand. And they're a pair of, I don't know, women's trousers, I guess. Let's be honest, they're not really anything special. They're just blue <laughs> women's trousers, but I don't know, vintage, vintage anthropology, anybody? Uh, yeah, I'll throw that over there. I have no idea what size they are. It didn't look like there was a size or care tag in them, so that's fun. All right, what else? Hold on. That item is gonna be part of a bigger pile of stuff I wanna show you. So I'm like, let me just shelf that for a second. Okay, if you watched my last haul, which, you know, go back and watch my last one, I mentioned that I hit a bin at the Goodwill outlet of what appeared to be one person's clothing. It looked like all the same size, all the same sort of styles, and it was in a picked over bin. Nobody wanted this stuff. It had been sitting out for a while. I wanted it all. So <laughs> this person wore a lot of uh, mature brands and uh, a lot of linen. So I grabbed a lot of the stuff and they were older pieces probably within the past 10 to 30 years, I would say. So this is a pair of Lauren Ralph Lauren pants and these are a size eight. To be honest, if I had to guess, I mean, they're women's for sure. They kind of feel like a wool blend. Are they, are they, are they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're 77% wool. Man, it's crazy how you get, good you get at this job. Uh, they've got this faux leather trim. I'm assuming that's faux leather. But anyways, I may try and send these to the real real because I have sent them this green label before. If you're familiar with Ralph Lauren, their different lines have different color labels, tags, whatever. So I have sent the green label and they have accepted it before. So maybe I'll have some luck. <laughs> okay, this is, I think it's a men's Levi's jacket with, um, what do you call this style? Oh my gosh, it's totally escaping me right now. Shearling, faux shearling uh, jacket. Anyways, you know, not anything crazy special. It's just a nice men's jacket. We'll sell that here. I actually do have a bin I just made of just men's stuff. So I'm gonna, every time I have men's stuff, I'm gonna chuck it over there. Okay, 
I think we might start to see some of the linen. It's just, there's so much of it, literally probably two baskets worth. It's just gonna start appearing. So here we go. Here is one piece. This is a pair of older tag DKNY linen pants. I can't tell if they're blue or black. It kind of looks like a mix of both. But anyways, linen always does really well for me in the summer. And I always include the search term lag and look in there. So it kind of helps the pieces sell. Consider doing that. Okay, this brand I got a ton of, I wanna say maybe like 20 pieces. I don't know you guys, it was a lot. CP Shades, which is, you know, a good bread and butter lag and look brand. Again, it is an aesthetic, so L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K. I recommend Googling it. Anyways, this is a pair of size large women's lag and look style pants, and they're actually floral. I don't know if these ones are linen. No, these ones are 100% cotton but they're in good condition. They've got pockets. Again, nice piece for summer. Here is another CP Shades item. It's gonna be a CP Shades broken record. These ones are a size small. It's kind of interesting. So she had a lot of different sizes, but I don't blame her because I have a lot of different sizes in my closet also. These are kind of a reddish brown almost. I don't know why, but I'm just like starting a linen pile or lag and look pile over there. Okay, this brand. Oh, this is really nice. So sometimes if there's people at the outlet who you know what they're looking for, maybe you've never even talked to them, but you can just tell what sort of pieces they're looking for. Anyways, sometimes if I can just tell, I'll give somebody something like, you know, maybe they like men's or women's vintage clothing, which I like to sell myself, uh, but it's just a nice thing to do. So anyways, I, I gave this person a piece of something and actually a few pieces pieces that day. And so anyways, later they came back to me when they were sorting and they gave me two pieces of clothing. Um, one was an Eileen Fisher piece and the other one was this brand, which I'd never heard of. And I looked up and you know, it didn't look so bad. So I, I got it. Uh, Chansonetta, if you guys have heard of it, let me know. It's hundred percent rayon. That's cute. We'll throw that in our vintage pile. So, you know, good karma. You, you share with others, they'll share back with you. These definitely feel like linen, whatever this is. I think it's another CP Shades piece. There we go. There's the tag. This is a size small, and it's just a women's maxi linen dress. This one's in really nice condition, and you guys already know any of these items that I washed that are the color black, I washed it with that product I don't get paid for mentioning, which is called Pearwall, P-E-R-W-O-L-L. -L. I'm actually going to do a video showing you how I use it for those who are like, yeah, we hear you talk about that all the time. Yeah, I did a video, so it's coming. Description, product, linking down below if you wanna know more about it. Uh, these are a pair of Burberry pants, size eight. I think these are women's, they're 100% silk. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have much to say about them. I'll probably send them to the real real, I think. Well, hold on. <laughs> so. I think the hem has come undone here at the bottom. I don't think, I know. I will see if my sewist can hem them up a little bit and make them look nicer. Otherwise, we'll just sell them here. I just like sending off as much stuff as I can to have somebody else help me with, that being the real real. This piece, I was gonna look up the RN number, so if you wanna look it up for fun right now, because you're sitting at your computer, go to the website rn.ftc.gov. And so the RN number here says uh, 68596, I think is what it says. The person cut out the tag, so I don't know what it is, but again, it was just like in this pile of linen, and this is 100% linen. I don't think it's CP shades. So comment below if you looked it up and let us all know what brand it is. <laughs> okay, this is a free people tank and it's new attacks. And, you know, new attacks at the bins just feel so fine. It's just like a little icing on the top. This was originally $38 marked down to $19.97. So yeah, we'll sell that here. Just gonna set that to the side. What else do we, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, it's just a little fun t-shirt I picked up for somebody. Uh, again, from that bin, these are a pair of Donna Karen, New York. I, this looks like an older tag, US size eight, 100% wool pants. I'm gonna see again if I can send these to the real real because I bet at one point these were really expensive. So 
don't know. I don't know off the top of my head if Donna Karen is accepted there. I've, it's not a brand that I've sent in the past, but I recommend playing around with brands to send in because a lot of times you can send stuff in and they will accept it or talk to your rep. Everybody gets assigned a rep when you start an account. This is an older piece of Calvin Klein. So Calvin Klein collection, again, from that one bin. It's 100% silk made in Hong Kong. I don't know, did it take Calvin Klein? I'm like, what sort of condition are you in? Maybe I'll try sending this in also. We'll see. Okay, next is, again, an older tag, DKNY, pair of shorts. These, again, feel like linen, very narrow waist for me. <laughs> they wouldn't fit me. They're size six, 100% linen. These are actually super cute. <laughs> How fun. So anyways, set that there. This is, are you gonna be CP Shades? Yes, another CP Shades piece. And this is a size medium. Shoot, she, she they, whomever, had pretty much every size so far. Small, medium, and large. What is this? A dress? This looks like a cute, oh, okay, I know what this is for. Did I show this one in my last haul? I can't remember. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that one. Anyways, uh, if you've been watching any of my hauls, I've been doing bins boxes, which is just a five pound box of clothing, of stuff that I picked up from the bins because there's lots of clothes and lots of clothes for me to share. Uh, some people don't have access to great inventory in their area or they can't leave their home for a number of diff different reasons. So I've been doing five pound bins boxes. If I have enough, I will list them and I'll put them in the description down below. Generally, it's only been between one and three boxes per trip. So check down below but that piece was a really pretty i should have showed you banana republic maxi halter dress i think super cute so that's one item that'll be in there this is oh the brand slalom s-l-a-l-o-m and if i'm remembering correctly off the top of my head it's pretty expensive outdoorsy gear brand <laughs> and they are snow pants and they're in good condition and what do i look for good condition on snow gear just that there's no uh rips or tears on the knees that can be one from people falling um or on the back ankle of any snow pants because when they're getting in and out of their snowboards or skis etc sometimes the back ankle can get really cut up so anyways slalom is that how you say it i don't even know if that's how you say it <laughs> Okay, next bag. Okay, this is just nothing. I don't know, it's just cute and I picked it up. Is it vintage? What is it? It just like, it kind of felt Y2K, but to be honest, it looks like maybe, oh, okay, here we go. It says pennies, it doesn't say JC pennies. I mean, I know that we always nickname stuff pennies, but anyway, it says pennies, size 40, Adana. So it's definitely vintage, right? It's got this fun metallic stitching in there. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna list it because I thought it was cute. Okay, next. I'm trying to see what else we have. Okay, it's like another pile of black stuff because it got washed with that detergent. These are a pair of Lululemon leggings. There's a little uh, logo there. They do have some pilling on here, so I'm gonna set these to the side so I can depill these as best as I can. Um, but again, what I love about that softener and it's not softener it's just like an add-in is that it really gets this nice rich black color again if you've ever seen pre-owned lululemon leggings in the wild they tend to fade uh this is i think just a hot topic top but every time i sold hot topic pieces they kind of do well and they'll sell kind of quickly so this one has the star i never know what that means it's, i feel like <laughs> Somebody chime in. Was that star mean again? Uh, so yeah, just a cute Hot Topic sweater top. It's a size large. And actually what I like about the Hot Topic pieces too is that they usually have underneath the care tag is the style information in here. So it can be handy. Where am I going to throw you? Over there. This is another CP Shades piece. <laughs> there it is. And this is a size medium and it's just this corduroy jacket shirt. Look how dark the color is. It looks so good. Again, washed it with that stuff. Okay, throw that down there. Next, what is this? I think this is just a plain black 
CP Shades t-shirt. This one is a size small. Man, it would be so nice if I could send this to a place like The Real Real. Ooh, because there's so many of them. There's a lot more to come. These, I was so excited to find. It's a pair of Savage Fenty leggings. I've never found this brand before. So this was really fun and they're in really nice condition. Look how vibrant the coloring is. These are a size, I don't even know. I would guess, oh, they're an extra large. <gasps> don't tempt me. Oh, look, but here, there's a fly. I didn't even see that. <laughs> it's like paint or something, but I'll still sell them. No worries, we'll just disclose that fluff. Not a problem. I guess I'll put that there. Okay, next I have this brand. I think this is a good brand. <laughs> I feel like I've sold it before, but it's the brand Joan Voss USA, and that is what the tag looks like. And 100% cotton, made in US, size two. They're just nice leggings, warm leggings. I don't know. What do you know about that brand? Let me know. What are you guys up to right now? Are you listing? Are you um, listing? <laughs> That's what I would be doing if I was watching a haul video. Are you photographing? Are we working together right now? Let me know. This is a James Purse, standard James Purse uh, polo shirt, size two. Women's, men's. I feel like this is a men's brand or it's typically size two, but size two is usually women, isn't it? I feel like this is a women's shirt. Hmm. Also, I think I'm thinking to myself, do they take this brand to the real real? I don't know. So I'm like, what pile will I put you in? That pile. I think I've been adding stuff to the wrong pile here. That's okay. All right. Another linen piece coming at you. This one is CP Shades. Dun, 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 dun. This one is a size medium. I, you know, it feels excessive, guys, but to be honest, I'm actually really stoked about it. Linen just does well for me, so I'm, I'm really excited. I, you, I was a kid in a candy store in that bin. I couldn't believe nobody had taken any of it. Uh, this is another piece that I was thinking I'd put in a bins box. It's the brand Fervor, and it's a size 1X. Whenever I've picked up this brand, it's always been plus size, and I think they sell it at, what's it called? Mod cloth. I'm just like, you're a one X. I don't know. I guess. I mean, I washed it. So maybe it like the knit is just tight. Anyways, this is going to be in the box. So we'll throw that over there. This is a dress, I think. Oh, it's a Bowden dress. There's that. This is what it looks like. Real cute. Nothing crazy to it. Bowden dresses just sell well for me. This is a US four. And again, as I always say, love it that they include the style number on the care tag. Super helpful. This has got to be free people. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a size small. There it is. And it's just this hooded knit cardigan open front with a fringe on the bottom. This is really cute. Uh, free people stuff also has a style number on their tags, which is great. Makes finding stuff really easy. That's a really cute piece. I wonder if it sells for a cute amount of money. <laughs> Not a cute, but like a real cute. Like we're loving it cute. <laughs> okay, this dress is kind of, I don't know if it's a vintage. It's 90s, so I suppose that's vintage. I think it is at least. It might not be. The brand is Anna Maxwell and it's a size 1X or 1820. I just thought this was cute. What do you think of this? It's, it's like florally and it's like, what do you call this? Root, 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 sheared? What is this? I know it's called something. You know what I'm talking about. All our dresses in like the 80s had it on there as little girls, right? Uh, buttons down the front. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. So we shall sell that. I'll put that in the vintage pile over there. Um, This is nothing. It's just something I washed that I think I've already shown you guys. <laughs> This is a vintage shirt that I should not have gotten. I just thought the tag looked cool, and so that's why I bought it, but I shouldn't have bought it, guys. It's Beast Beast by Jean Ewing, size medium, California Sun. Just look at this tag. I mean, the tag alone just sold me. I was like, that's an amazing tag. It's so cool. But the shirt is, like, so stained and messed up. I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I thought, oh, I can take it home and stain treat it but no and there were shoulder pads in it which I removed them because they were horrendous they looked so awful <laughs> this is a Nike women's 
dry fit. It says fit dry. Fit dry dress. <laughs> it's a size medium. And I thought this would be a good piece for a bins box. Also a nice athletic dress for summer. So anyways, that will be in there. This is a, oh, I know what this is. I thought I picked this up in my last haul, like grabbed it. This is an Everlane hoodie. And I was so stoked to find this piece. It's a size XL. Ooh, <laughs> hmm, <laughs> it's a little cropped for me. But anyways, uh, nobody was looking at it. It was just plain and black, but I grabbed it. And then I looked and I was like, oh, it's Everlane. So I think if people had just looked at the tag, they would have seen and kept it. Everlane, I like selling it. It's one of my favorite, easier brands to sell. How do you feel about it? Do you feel similarly? Let me know. This, <laughs> I just love a fun graphic t-shirt. So I brought, I bought it. It's, I don't even know. Thirst problems, try Rushmore Cola. What is this from guys? Is it anything? Or is it just some random t-shirt? It's not vintage cause it's not single stitch. Uh, or it's not vintage in the way I'm thinking. It does have a loose string there, which I just cut off. So I don't know, I'll just sell it in my store. I'm guessing, I was gonna say it's a men's but it's kind of a small men's. Could be a women's. These are, oh, this is a Lululemon jacket. And as I always say, I never know the style names on any of these, but you can either find it somewhere on the jacket, maybe, or my virtual assistant does a really good job of finding that stuff for me. It does have wear, it's just, um, I don't wanna say pilly, but you know, like after you depill, there should be a term for like, after you remove the pill and it just has that kind of, Mm, weird texture to it. So if there was going to be a style number, I would check the pockets and sometimes around the little size dots, there'll be some numbers, but I don't know at what point they started doing that with pieces. So anyways, this is a size six women's Lululemon jacket and they kind of tend to do well for me. What about you guys? Lululemon jackets. This is empty. So two down, 400 to go. I kind of want to move this stuff over here. You're organizing with me, you guys. Sorry. This we're in this together. Okay. What do I show you next? Maybe I'll show you this bag. Okay. Um, I feel like I showed you guys this. It's a rag and bone top, <laughs> but I feel like I've showed it to you already. I think it's in pretty good condition. So let's put that in our real, real pile, which has gotten mixed up with a bunch of stuff. We'll put this stuff not here. Yeah. I think I just hit the camera. Sorry guys. Uh, that's all going there. Okay, sorry. Real, real pile, rag and bone. Next item, this is I think just a girl's or infant's vintage dress, but sometimes these vintage baby stuff does really well for me. Does it do well for you? Probably. This one's called Good Little Girls. Ew, cringe. This is a size two, but it's just this little, is this a pinafore? Am I saying that correctly? I just feel like it is. So somebody let me know. Pinafore, did I use that term correctly? Okay, this is a dress. Oh, it's an ASOS dress. ASOS design, size six. Just a little basic black dress. I don't know, it's cute. There is like a little deodorant mark that can, that can be buffed out. So I'm actually gonna put this in a bins box because it appears it's new with tags. It says, hey, just so you know, we can't accept returns once this tag is removed. So if you want it, it'll be in the bins box. This is an 11 C's jacket, which this brand, I know it to be sold at Anthropology. Some of these 11 C's jackets sell for pretty good money. It's actually a fun little game. If you type in the brand name, go to sold listings and go high to low. And you'll see which ones are worth a lot more than others, but it's really nice. This one's fully lined. It's got this really pretty mustard color in here. And this one is 40% wool, 15% mohair. I thought so, cause it feels really soft. And it's just this window pane print and it appears to be in good condition, but it's kind of hard to see cause the ring light definitely has a tint to it. So yeah, we'll sell that. Throw that there for right now. This is, okay. I think this is vintage, right? <laughs> 90s. I, feels weird saying that, but Kenner Design size two. I actually picked this one up because I wanted to use the Y2K search term in it. It just like, look, if, you, if you're the same age as me and you'll know, doesn't this look like something we would have worn 
or saw the girls in Seventeen magazine wearing. So anyways, yeah, I'll put my 2K style in, in the title. <laughs> I guess that'll be cool. This is a dress from, oh, Tadashi Shoji. Yeah, I forgot I got that. Uh, this is a size four, and this one will definitely go to the real real. I feel fairly confident it's a brand they take. It's in good condition. It's really nice. Why didn't they want that anymore? They move on. They m moved on from their clothing. That's okay. This is, oh, a new tag piece. It still has, it's from Target. So I'm just taking the Goodwill tag off of it. Toss that over there. But, oh, it's a universal thread dress. Wish this was my size. Is it my size? No. <laughs> it's a size extra small. I feel like I just bought this dress now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I totally just bought this dress in a different color. This is gonna go in a bins box. It's new with tags. Check it over there. Next up, we have another really pretty dress. What are you? Oh, this is an ASOS dress. It's a size US women's 16 and it has a tie over here. That's really cute. This is super cute, fun. Oh, bummer though. Look what I just noticed some of the stitching has come out around the collar. I don't know. Maybe I'll show my sewers, see if, I don't know. We can just make it look a little bit neater. Because otherwise it's in really great condition. Okay, this bag's empty now. Let's move on to another one. Here we go. Keep chugging along here. This is something that's new with tags. It's got an old school Nordstrom tag on it. You know, if you know, you know. And this is the brand Norsport. This definitely looks like a women's shirt, but I think when I looked it up, I can only find men's comps, but that's okay. We will still sell it. I believe, again, that was in the bin of that person's clothes, of all those like items. This is the brand Olga. I feel like one of my first bras when I was younger was from Olga. <laughs> Random memory, just unlocked, sorry. And this is, I used to be an expensive brand. Is it still? This has suggested retail price $36. Is this just a slip? That's my guess. Just a slip. Where do I want to throw you? How about right there? These look like they're men's pants. Yeah. These are a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren men's pants. New with tags. That's, that's it. Oh, how I know these are old school. Uh, if you're from Washington State... The tag on here says the Bon Marche. That store then became absorbed by Macy's, which happened a while ago. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely an older piece. But you know, people keep pieces in their closet for a long time. Uh, this is, I don't know why I grabbed you. <laughs> so, are you new with tags? You must be new with tags. Ah, there we go. Oh, I think I was, mm, I thought about doing a men's bins box. Maybe I'll still do that. I don't know. It's the brand Club Room. Uh, this is size $49. Or this is, it costs $49. I don't know what size it is. Medium. Yeah, I think I was thinking about doing a men's bins box, but I just didn't have enough items that I wanted to add in there. So let me think about that. It'll be in the description if there's one available, guys. This, again, is from that collection of that person. Why is there a random safety in there uh dkny pants will blend uh, again i may try to just send this to the real real but i need to take the safety pin out yeah wrong way maybe here we go sweet now we have a safety pin add it to the pile <laughs> so <laughs> i know that it wasn't holding anything up that i saw okay next piece is the brand hino and Mali, check, look this up. If you're sitting at your computer, ch check out this brand. I know I comped it when I was at the bin, so it must've been interesting enough. A lot of the brands that this person owned that I hadn't heard of like linen brands or mature brands, I did look up and, or I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> like they had good enough stuff here that I'm gonna try selling this stuff. So these are just a size medium skirt. What do you know about Hino and Mali? I have never sold it before. This top, I don't know if it's vintage. So again, I'm gonna actually ask my sewist because they sell uh, vintage pieces and I think they would be a good judge of vintage. So here's what it looks like. 
got this little, what do you call it? Like a little mandarin collar or something. But what's interesting is that on the inside here, there's this plastic. Like, what was this for? I don't know. And then the, there's like wire coming out of here. So I'll definitely set that to the side and have a conversation about it. All right, this is a Robert Graham shirt. Man, you can spot these things from a mile away. Sometimes they're very gaudy. Um, let me know if you have somebody in your life who wears Robert Graham. I've only ever seen one person in the wild who wears them. And you, again, you can always tell this is that flip cuff. Not every Robert Graham shirt has them, but some do. And they will have, you wanna use flip cuff as your search term because they look for it. It's a certain type of personality that wants to have their flip cuff shown. Like that's their bling. So more power to you. These are a pair of Theory pants, just women's pants. Again, older style tag Theory because of the spacing here. Again, I will send these to the real room. So I'll put that there. These are, oh, another older tag, Donna Karen, right? That's an older tag. Am I right there? I just remember that tag from a while ago. <laughs> it's a US size eight. These are 100% silk pants. Yeah, gonna give it the old fashioned college try. Send those in. I got, oh, these are accessories. So I feel like I should save these to, for the end maybe. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Save it for the end. Okay, this is a vest. And again, Donna Karen, dun, 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 dun. I feel like I need to like speed up here for you guys. This is a really cool leather jacket. It is Nordstrom and it's, it says Encore there, but that's actually the department in the department store. So Encore, I believe carried all their plus size. So this is a size zero X. It's actually really cool now that I'm seeing it's zero X. I think I'm maybe like a one X. So I don't know, I never model stuff guys, but here we go, we're getting our one model moment. Ooh. Oh, why does it have to fit? Why does it have to fit? It's cute. Okay, this is really cute. You can't really see all of it, but there's no buttons or anything, which is a little, feels a little disconcerting. Like, how do I, how do I cover myself? Oh man, why does it gotta be cute? What do you think? How's it look? How's it look with leggings, purple leggings? <laughs> I don't think I'll keep it, but I do love it. It's really beautiful. Oh, I love this. Yeah, you're gonna get sold right? Maybe it's not. I don't know, guys. I'm going to set that over here. <laughs> it's funny when that happens, right? I had no intentions. That was for real, like my first time trying it on or noticing all of that. Uh, this is the brand JG Hook, and I think this is a vintage piece. It is dead stock because it has the original retail tags on here and all that fun information here. You know, it's a thing, that's, that's, that's somebody's aesthetic. Maybe like Christmas or something? Modest, I think that's a keyword you use with that type of dress, modest, because it covers from your shoulders down to your almost ankles. Um, this, I feel like people pick these up or people used to talk about this, this brand, Storybook Knits, and maybe I've ever thrifted like one of their pieces. I'm pretty sure it's usually sweaters or cardigans and they're pretty ornate. So with all that said, this is a size small pink one, super cute, oh my goodness. Would have been great for Valentine's Day because it's a bunch of pearl hearts. Um, not real pearls, I'm sure. But anyways, super cute. So we'll sell that. Throw that over there. Okay, this is again another piece that I was like, yeah, let's throw Y2K in the title. I don't even know what brand, like I don't, never heard of this brand, it's called Ashley. And it's a size medium and it's like a, moto style kind of but it's like shiny it reminds me of that missy elliott video if you're not looking look up it's fun look at that isn't that cool <laughs> so anyways yeah we'll try my 2k in the title or 90s i don't know one of those things uh oh it just made me realize that i forgot another leather jacket at home that was pretty cool it was like a vintage Frenchie, which is sold at Nordstrom. Leather jacket, like blazer style, kind of with a little bit of a cinched waist. Seen a lot of influencers wearing those. So, you know, I've been giving it a try. This one is a Worthington brand, which is, um, I don't know where it's sold. 
but it's kind of cute. Maybe I'll put this one in a bins box. This is a size large. It's got a peplum waist. So yeah, we'll put that in a bins box. And okay, after I show you these three pieces, then we're done with this bag. This is some sort of vintage knit cardigan thing. There are no markings on it. It is just open front. There's no buttons, but it's just real fun. Isn't this cool? I love this. Yeah, there's, there's nothing guys. This is what it looks like on the inside. So obviously we take measurements of everything. So we'll just add in the measurements for everything and make a size estimation based on that. This also appears to be vintage. It's a little girl's coat, <laughs> like little girl's fancy people coat. I don't know if it's a doll coat, but it's real cute, whatever it is. There's no sizing information on here, no tags, maybe possibly handmade given the stitching on the inside. Love this print, so fun for summer and spring. So yeah, okay, what bag next? Let's go for this one. Next is, it's taxing guys, doing hauls. If you've never done a haul, even for your friends or family, that counts too. If you've ever just shown them all the fun stuff that you've picked up, it's exhausting. <laughs> so uh, this is a Bob Mackie coat. I don't know, it's like fleecy. It's got all this, I don't know if it's embroidery or just like patches on here. It's fully lined, real nice. Uh, they do take this at the real real. So I'm going to send it there. I'm shocked, but thanks to friends on the internet, uh, I was told that they take it. So it'll go there. This, I wanna say, is that brand Gentle Fawn. Where's that dang tag? Yeah, so on two different trips, I found pieces that were new with tags in the bins. Has me so curious. Did I just happen to like hit it up the day everyone was donating their new with tags items there or did they dump a bunch of stuff at Goodwill, this brand, whoever they are? Uh, maybe the end of the year for tax purposes, whatever. Anyways, gentle fawn. I don't know. It's just like you put it on, you know, like one of those lightweight cardigan <laughs> type things, layering pieces. Let's go with that. This is another Bob Mackie piece. So, you know, rule of thumb at the bins where there's one, there's two. And sometimes when there's two, there's three and four. So just real cute sweater. Uh, again, I'll send this off to the real real. I'm more than happy to share with them. What else do we have? Oh, this is another one of those gentle fawn pieces. You know, you just put it on like that. New with tags? Yes, it's new with tags. This is the brand. Oh, this was new to me, but it's apparently a nice brand. A shirt thing. Have you heard of it? It's size medium, large. And apparently it's got a decent MSRP price and as well as a decent resale price. So it was a shirt thing that I was gonna pick it up. These are a pair of men's size extra large, good, good fellow, which is sold at Target. Size extra large pants. So again, I guess if I do a bins box for men, I'll put that in there. This is the brand Finn and Grace, size small. I don't know where this is from, but sure, we'll sell it. Nice, pretty spring top. Where is it sold originally, do you guys know? Is it just like a boutique brand? This is a vintage dress, just really fun, Sha Sha. <laughs> Sha Sha collection. It's a size small, but I thought I could use cottage core in the title as a search term, and maybe that would help. There's that. What are you? Oh yeah, there's like two pieces to this. This is. Interesting. So this is the brand LACA USA. I think it's like Los Angeles, California, USA is what it's supposed to stand for. I think size small and it's just this sheer tunic dress style top. But then of course, where there's one, there's two. Here's the slip that's probably supposed to go underneath it. So I'm gonna have to pin these together so that we make sure that we photograph them together here at the warehouse. <laughs> okay, next is this really cute page uh dress it's got a belt fun pastel colors again such a cute just kidding romper for spring i don't know that the real real has ever taken page from us also not sure if i've sent it before so i'm not gonna send it is the long and short of it this is the brand want and need it's new with tags and it is a 
dress. Stress, dress, dress. Yeah, size extra large. This is real cute. Isn't this super cute? Um, originally 48, they had it marked down to 24.97, but I'll put this in a bins box because it's really cute. Toss it down there. <laughs> this. Okay, this I think is LuLaRoe. I feel confident about that, even if I don't look at the tag. It's the Carly dress and it's size extra small without opening it all up. I'm just gonna show you guys. I got it because it is Disney themed. And for the fact that it's new with tags and it's Disney and as a dress, maybe somebody will want it for their Disney trip this summer or spring, whenever they might be going. This is, I don't know, this Daisy shop. Originally 42, marked down to 19. That's what the tag looks like. Maybe this is a boutique, but it's the brand Blue Pepper, which I've definitely seen before. So I think I also grabbed this for a bins box. So we'll toss that over there. Hopefully we should be close to five pounds. So maybe we can do two boxes. I don't know how much more stuff I have that I can put in there. <gasps> Here's another one I can put in there. So this is a dress barn dress, super cute, lovely colors for spring. And again, new with tags, $42. So we'll toss that over there. You guys know, if you've been watching my last few videos, that I've been talking about my love of gingham and wanting to pick it up for the season. This is a really pretty HD in Paris dress. There's the tag. This is sold at Anthropology, And this one is a size US2. It kind of looks bigger than that. Has pockets here on the side. Super cute, great condition. We'll sell that. This is, oh, this is just the uh, collab, a Target collab, 3.1 Philip Lim. Sometimes, uh, the collabs can still sell for decent money. Certainly 3.1 Philip Lim is <laughs> just a great brand in general. If you find that one without the Target collab on it, definitely pick that up, you know, for the right price. But this is, oh, this is the brand Devlin. And I don't know how much, this actually looks like an older tag Devlin from what I'm familiar with seeing. Pretty heavy duty skirt and I think I'm going to send it into the real real. I have sent it to them before and I'm pretty sure they've taken it and sold it before, but we'll find out. Maybe it'll come back to me. Maybe it will return here. Uh, once I show you these two pieces, we've killed off another bag and we're 42 minutes in. We're doing okay on time. I think <laughs> this is, oh, this was something I was going to put in a bins box. Also, it's a brand laundry by Shelly Siegel. And it's just this really pretty, I always want to say this is chambray, but it's not, is it? Mm, you let me know. It's a size 10 zip up jacket, super cute, really fun. Like look at the stitching. Like obviously it's supposed to be, you know, a darker stitch there. That's going in the bins box. What is this? Oh, I think I was going to put this in there too. This is another just universal thread target piece, originally $25 dress, just cute. Solid color dress. So we'll put that in there. Oh gosh, everything's falling. Um, yeah, definitely think we have enough for two now. Um, what should I grab next? Oh my goodness. I'll go with this bag over here. I think this is right on top a mod cloth skirt. Psych, not. <laughs> it's a vintage express uh, skirt. That's like their old tag. And it's a size 910, just really fun with like that multicolor knit. How cute is that? Put that there. Another vintage piece, this is Worthington. I don't know what size it is though. I don't know, probably like a small if I had to guess, but look how fun this is. I swear I had something like this when I was younger and wore it for probably you know, like a school photo or something. But I feel like mine was maybe purple and black, but same floral sort of thing. Did you have something like that? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, this is a men's blazer. I'm guessing I grabbed it because it's gonna be real, real eligible. What are you? Yup, it is a Giorgio Armani blazer. So, you know, just because, you know, you or I might not be the most comfortable selling men's blazers, doesn't mean that some other platform isn't they are comfortable with it so consider sending stuff off maybe to the real real or thread up if they can sell it for you because you don't want to do it this is a something new with tags 
Oh, it's the brand Mystery? Where's this sold? M-Y-S-T-R-E-E. -E. I think I grabbed this to put in a bins box, but it's real cute. It's just like a women's Henley black and white multicolored knit. We'll toss that over there. This is another vintage piece. Yeah, this one's cool. Let me zip this up. Ooh, the stitching is maybe loose. Okay, here, where was this sold? Man dot outlet? What? Then there's a good will tag. This has like a million tags on it. So here is the main tag. Leonard here. There you go. Leo Narducci, California design. And size 14, made in USA. Again, because it is new with tags and it's an older piece, uh, it would be considered dead stock. Okay. This is, I think it's Joie. No, I'm so off on all this stuff. Okay, this is the brand Organic by John Patrick. I just have something else that looks like this, which I'd never heard of this before. Check out that tag. But I guess it's a good brand. And it's a silk dress. Super cute. Um, I can't remember if it was real, real eligible. Like if I saw it on their designer list. So I'll check and look. This is something I grabbed for a bins box because I thought it was so cute and so perfect for the season. It's a Talbot's uh, petite, too petite tank, but it's just lime, like lime slices. Isn't that fun? So anyways, that will be in a bins box. It weighs like nothing. <laughs> it's gonna be just a little icing on the cake in that box. <laughs> this is a uh, Pendleton women's skirt. It is a size something, I have no idea, but it's a really fun plaid purple color. And I was just looking to see if there were moth holes and there are a couple, so we will disclose that in the listing. I wish I would have seen that before, but say lovey. Okay, that bag there. Here is a joie piece. So there is the joie tag and it's got elephants. Yeah, cute. It's silk. It kind of looks like a tunic given where the pockets are, but it could be a dress. I have successfully sent joie to the real real. They've accepted and sold it. So I'm gonna send it in. And you know the kind of the rule of the thumb rule of thumb with the real real is you know if at first they don't take it try try again send it back in just because they sent it back to you if it's in good condition and you think it's a style or a brand that they have sold or could sell try sending sending it in again it's kind of like when you go to a buy sell trade store like Plato's Closet Buffalo Exchange etc. You're just kind of at the mercy of the person who's picking through your stuff. They do have kind of rules or brands that they're supposed to take, but exceptions can always be made. So moving on, this is another of that brand, Gentle Fawn. So remember there was those two like layering pieces. This is an extra large, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to fit me. I say that as I very easily get my arm. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Well, I was looking for a jacket this style too. Oh, man, I just bought one too. That's kind of the style. Oh, okay, it's real cute. Yeah, I'm keeping this. It's definitely keeping this. <laughs> that's why you don't try on the merchandise, you guys. That's new with tags. Like, I have a hard time keeping stuff that's new with tags because I'm just like, you could sell it. I don't know. Ooh. Sorry, guys, this thing keeps falling on me. Yeah, I have a hard time keeping stuff that's new with tags because it just, you know, I see the value in it and I'm like, well, we gotta sell it. That's why we bought it, is to sell it. So yeah, I'm gonna struggle with that one for a little bit. This is a fun dress. I don't even know what it is. Well, let's look at it first. I probably got it because it gives me a little bit of 90s vibes, but now let's do a little detective work. Why did we really buy it? Hmm. <laughs> Is there a care or size tag on the inside? No. Does it have pockets? Yes. Already it's a winner in my book. So I'll probably just list it. I don't know. You know what? I'll probably use Google Photos to see if I can find anything that looks like it. See if we can try and match it up. So before I say too much, that's what we'll do first. And by Google, you know, Google Lens. That's what I'm talking about. Speaking of 3.1 Philip Lim, here we go. So I showed you the Target one and for, for one low, there's a high. So here is like the real one. This is a size 10, definitely accepts this at the real real. So I will send that to them. And this 
is also, I think, a good brand. So looks like somebody tried selling it maybe in a state sale or garage sale. Hmm. I'm just wondering what day when I found you. Hans, R what does that say? R Rother? I looked this up. I'm pretty sure the comps look good on this one, guys. I think it's a dress that's inside out, but you get the idea. If I had to guess, this feels like wool and cashmere. It's 100% virgin wool. Hans Rother. What do you guys know about Hans Rother? In my last video, a lot of people had a lot to tell me about the brand Vero Moda, so thank you so much for that. Um, I feel like that same crew. Come on, let's step it up. What do you know about Hans Rother? <laughs> or a different group of people. Let's do it. Okay, this is a great brand. I just started selling it or it came into my, you know, vision this past year or so. It's the brand Central Park West. And the pieces that I've seen are kind of border on the athleisure, kind of, I would call it athleisure-ish wear. Uh, they do take it at the real real. I may just send this one there so I don't have to deal with it. It's got all these really fun grommets on the hoodie and all down the front. It's like an open front waterfall cardigan style piece. With all that said, we finished another bag. Let's go on to the next one. This is a, okay, I'm just checking there's something on there. The brand's Fielder's Derby. Now, I don't remember if I bought this for style or if I bought it for brand. Either way, I hope it's both because I just love this one. It's pink, it's got sharks all over it. It's a size small and I feel very confident that it's a men's. So we will toss that into my men's box. Okay, this one, it's just a, it's a Krispy Kreme shirt, but I couldn't find, I couldn't find any style like this. It does have some discoloration on here and I worked real hard guys with that grandma spray. I sprayed the heck out of this thing and it probably did like five washes to be honest with you, but it didn't come out. And so I'm just gonna sell it as is, but I did check out this tag here, the anvil tag um, to see what time period is from. If I'm remembering correctly, it was maybe like the 2000 to 2010 decade, but there's this really cool account on Instagram. If you've not heard of it, it's called Tags and Threads, T-A-G-S-A-N-D-T-H-R-E-A-D-S. I will put it in the description down below. If I don't remember to do that, please somebody remind me. Um, but Tags and Threads on Instagram, and they give the history of so many different t-shirt brands. It's really, really awesome. So uh, it is a youth medium. So I don't, I don't know how vintage it is, but I'll just put it in my kids pile of stuff to sell. Okay, next, this is a Lululemon top size. I don't know what size, <laughs> size four. It's cute. Yeah, this is fun. And it ties here in the front. Super cute. It has a tag. I mean, how rare is that? This is a fun crinkly skirt. I love these. They just remind me of the 90s. Um, I definitely picked up this brand before Neo Nostalgia, or I've just gotten, I feel like it's also just called Nostalgia, but whatever, size medium. If this doesn't remind you of Claire Danes from my so-called life, then what will, okay? Um, what else do we got here? <laughs> Here's some jeans with a butt blown out. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> mm, okay, these would have been better if they didn't have that. So I'm gonna see if maybe we can patch them or maybe we just sell them as is. But this is the brand Gustin, new to me, never heard of it. Uh, these are men's. They do have the butt blown out, that's unfortunate. You know, it's kind of ironic because the rest of them are, like the rest of the denim is in really good condition. But the one thing here that's really important is that they're selvage. So if you've not heard this term before, it's the stitching. Um, it's just a higher quality of stitching that's done with some higher quality denim and it's going to have this red line. So if you ever see this, um, it, it can, it's, it's worth looking up comps, especially if it's on Levi's, Ooh, then you're going to have a little bit of, a little bit of coin in your pocket. Okay. Um, but I used to talk about all the time, a really great documentary might be able to find on YouTube or somewhere on the internet, but it's called blue gold like B-L-U-E, gold, blue gold. And it's all about denim and you'll learn a ton of great information about all the things denim that you never thought you could possibly learn. So don't ever, ever, ever make cut off shorts and see this thing, see the uh, selvage denim in there. So you will greatly devalue the denim. 
unless you don't care. And that's okay too. If you don't really care, go for it. Do whatever you want. Okay, next I have <laughs> an REI. I think this is a women's jacket. It's a size small. Man, I wish this was my size. Um, it's fitted at the waist. Super cute. Black, basic, hooded. Great piece. Next is, oh my gosh, what do we have left? Not too much. We're getting in the home stretch, guys. Uh, this is a Lulu's dress. It's a size extra small. Is a dress? A top. Maybe a top? Um, but let's put that in the bins box because that's really cute. I don't know if it's linen, but it's something. It feels like linen. This was super fun. Look at these vintage overalls, you guys. So I don't know if somebody, they must have stitched these on themselves. This, the, this on themselves. This is the back. I'm sorry. I'm tongue-tied. Here's the front. And they're vintage Sears overalls. You can see the Sears there on the hardware. And then in terms of the inside, I don't know if there's a tag, but that's okay. There's certainly enough information on them that says Sears is so cool. I love these. So yeah, we'll set that there. This is, oh, another rag and bone top, size medium. They're just sprinkled throughout this haul. We will put that into our real real pile. I don't know what size it was. This is a, oh, Zarina. This is a great brand. Uh, I have some that's the real real. They do take it. It's a size large button front blue, blue blouse. Great piece. It's funny. All the good pieces are just going to be right at the end of the haul. That's okay. <laughs> okay. This brand was new to me, but I looked it up and it's like a, you know, like retro pinup brand. Bell Poke. I don't know if I said that right, but I'm pretty sure the comps were good on this. Size medium. Super fun. No, what the heck? That's not how it looks. Is <laughs> it? How does this look? I must be holding this wrong. You guys get it. Some sort of like sweetheart neckline. <laughs> we'll just set that down there. This is the brand. Oh, Faith of Zoe. I don't know why I grabbed this, guys. But the comps must have looked good. That's what the tag looks like. It's a size 1X. I want to be like, I grabbed it for me. Because it's my size. Maybe. I don't, I don't think I did, but I'm like, I don't think that's a real, real brand. We'll put that in the keep here pile, but that, it is cute. Now I'm like thinking twice about it. <laughs> this is a bra. I don't, I'm not not looking for bras, but when I find ones that I'm familiar with, like the brands, whatever, I will grab them. Uh, this is the brand Cacique and Lane Bryant, right? That's where they sell it. This is a size 44 double D red bra. And you know, bras are expensive, good bras are expensive. So we'll sell that. This looks like a little kid's item. It's so cute. Hannah Anderson, little one piece. Yeah, with the little feetsies cut out. That's adorable. Size zero to three months. We'll toss that in the kid's bin. All right, guys, we're almost there. I think the only bin we have left and then we'll move on to accessories is a whole lot of linen. <laughs> so we'll go through it really quickly. Here is the bin. I don't think I showed you guys this stuff or this item, but it's just a Helly Hansen jacket. And I have been working really hard to clean it up. Again, using that grandma stain remover. There were the, most of the jacket was pretty good. It was just the sleeves here. So again, I don't think I showed this to you guys yet, but we'll toss that there. Helly Hansen jackets are really expensive. So it was worth me putting a little effort into, in my opinion. Okay, sepia shade skirt. You don't care what size it is, but they're just comfy linen lady pants. No, skirt, skirt, skirt. <laughs> and it's white. How is it still white? Not all this stuff's white. Speaking of, I must have done some lighter color items together. These are a pair of Levi's 501 little booty shorts. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We'll put those over there. I thought it fell. Um, more linen. So I think I might have to steam some of this stuff because it just got a little too wrinkly for my, for my taste. But again, CP Shades pants. I'll make that the steam pile. This is, oh, just like an old school Anne Klein top. Check that out. Anne Klein two, <laughs> size medium. It's a cotton blend. But again, you know, I, I, I mentioned that there was just, I trusted her taste. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I'll grab that. I'll see that one also. This brand is new to me. Fatigues. You should have seen me trying to pronounce this when I first saw it. I was like, 
fitigues. No, fatigues. <laughs> fitigues. Uh, size medium, but the cops looked interesting. The elastic is not shot, which is a huge bonus. I'm not gonna lie, they don't feel the most comfortable. Like that's not a fabric. I would be like, let me relax in these. No, like that actually feels like something where it'd be like, you're gonna be tortured while wearing these. So yeah, uh, CP shade so shorts and ooh, that elastic might have, might be near the end of its life. So we will have to note that. Um, this is another CP Shades top. I really feel like I should show all this to my mom because my mom is definitely a lag and look sort of person. So she would be a good person. <laughs> yeah, she would be a good clientele for it. Uh, this is just a cool linen jacket that I found. Look at this, this thing is really fun. It's just, yeah, there's no tags, no nothing. I got nothing on it, but it full length linen coat. Why not? Okay, is this Anne Klein again? No. Oh, this one I like. This is DKNY jeans and it's a maxi. And I think this one is, yeah, 100% linen. What a beautiful piece. A fully white linen maxi. Um, again, I'm looking at the sides. I'm like, oh, will my mom want this? This is nothing. <laughs> it's a bag. <laughs> this is, uh, oh, you know, I mean, Ann Klein, DKNY, why not Chico's, right? Chico's just makes sense at this point. So a Chico's linen top. I, I mean, I can't believe how much linen there is, guys. It's kind of wild. Like, it's truly wild. Uh, this is a Calvin Klein linen jacket again. This one's really pretty. So maybe I'll try sending this one to the real real. I don't know if they'll take it, but I'll try. It doesn't say material on here. But look at this. And it's an, an older Calvin Klein tag. Sorry guys, it's a little spastic at this point. I'm just trying to make it through this pile of linen to show you everything. Um, another CP Shades piece. This one's just a vest. Toss that there. This one, I do see some discoloration on it. So yeah, you know, you can't find a full bin of linen and not have a little bit of problems. This brand I'm not familiar with, so let me know if you guys know Lloyd Allen size medium linen pants. I want to steam those. These are 100% linen made in British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. So that's how you know it's vintage because Hong Kong went back under China rule uh, in 1997, if I'm saying that correctly. Mm, the waistband is shot, so that's too bad. And they don't say a brand on here, which is maddening. My goodness, no brand at all. <laughs> is there an RN number? Give us something. You know, it did say though, this one says uh, professionally dry clean with uh, per, per, no, I can't say it, perchlorethylene, which this Calvin Klein jacket said that as well. So I wonder if this was a set. Wouldn't matter, they're not gonna take shot pants, shot elastic waist pants. So that's too bad. Uh, this is Nancy Heller. So again, just was going on instinct, like, yeah, I trust you and all your linen items. So if you guys know anything about this brand, uh, made in California size three, so it looks like some sort of vanity sizing going on there. What's this one? I'm like, are you in the wrong pile? <laughs> I think you just snuck in. This looks like Lululemon, if I was a gambling woman. I'm gonna guess that this is a Lululemon top. Open front back. Who are you? Where are you from? Wait, there it is. Lululemon. Yeah, okay. I'm like, I'll add you back into that pile. It's about to find, like, where did you come from? <laughs> okay, this is a, I love this brand, Flax. A Flax linen piece. And because a lot of these pieces seem to be older, um, I'm going to look up the tag of that flax piece because the last time I listed something as vintage flax, not only did it sell quick, it sold for a great amount of money. So I'm down for that. Uh, this looks like just another CP shade skirt. If I had to guess, yes, it is. Again, white, good condition. And oh, this is that other brand again, Hino and Mali, two. So cotton pants, but these have some staining on them. I tried, I tried guys. And then this sweater, 
there were some really nice sweaters that were in there too. Maybe I showed you one in my last haul. DKNY knit sweater. I'm gonna throw that there. We're done with the linen. Let me show you my accessories haul. So it's been a while since I really showed my accessories. Oh my God, I just realized I just got a pile of clothes. Okay. <laughs> and it's a good pile of clothes. So this stuff actually, I have a video that I'm doing where I am showing how I use the pear wall. So you're actually getting to see the after of the pear wall. And if you don't wanna see all of these awesome items that are just all the color black, feel free to, you know, like just skip ahead like a couple seconds and go to the accessories if that's what you'd rather see. But this is just some more clothes that I washed with the pear wall. And if you watch, watch that video, you'll see the before and after of these items. But these are a pair of Marmot, I think they're kids, size large, just snow pants. Uh, you know, again, these outdoorsy brands sell for like a lot of money and resale can be great, you know? But not everybody wants to pick it up. I think this is a Lululemon jacket, moto style. Yeah, here's the zip up. What are you? It's Lululemon. I don't know what size it is, but of course, if you guys are ever interested in any of the pieces, send me an email, I'll quote your price. This is the brand Sunday Best. Where is that sold? I think it's Aritzia, um, but they're just flowy lady pants. We'll set that there. Uh, these were some Nike golf shorts. I actually got two pairs, so maybe the other one's in here somewhere too. I'm bummed about this one. <laughs> so I'm glad, you know, I washed it and it got clean. It's all pretty and everything. Um, I washed, it was new with tags. <laughs> so actually I think I had planned to put this in a bins box, which I'm still going to. It's still a really pretty dress and you can put new without tags because I still have the little hang tag on there. I just washed it. That's the only thing I did. Uh, this is a Lululemon. Actually, I got to get that out for the other video, but then I'll toss it back in. Lululemon sports bra. There's that. A pair of Paige jeans. I love Paige. Oh no, these aren't Paige. Huh, psych. These are BDG from Urban Outfitters. A pair of skinny jeans. Put that over there. Uh, not familiar with this brand, but I just, I'm pretty sure it's expensive, right? <laughs> Vetements, Vetements, Porfim, Tricots, ETE, 2018, Porter. It's okay, you guys will tell me what it is. I don't need to, I don't need to know in this moment. I'll figure it out. But yeah, so I'm not. And what are you? Oh, I got to actually uh, email somebody back about this shirt, but I wanted to wash it first. Somebody had expressed interest in it. Again, just fun graphic t-shirts that I like to pick up. Pardon the dogs barking in the background. These are some Lululemon joggers. I don't know, if, I think they're women's because they have a tighter waistband, which makes me think they're women's. This is a really nice, yeah, another REI women's jacket, size extra small, and the belt had fallen. <laughs> it's right here. I was like, where's that belt? It's a really nice jacket. I, again, wish that one was my size. The other pair of Nike golf shorts. Uh, this is a the brand IMGia. So this is the company that also created Juicy Couture. So it's just a fun little romper. And what else? Okay, then moving on from a couple of black items. This was a pair of Eileen Fisher plus size linen pants, size 1X. And I think I showed you Guys, that stuff. I'm trying to think what I showed you. This was a swim top. I think it's missing the straps, but it's the brand. Uh, I don't know how you say it. You say that. What does it say? <laughs> but it's a good brand. And then I don't think I ever showed you guys this, but I found a Coogee top. It's not a sweater, which is too bad. Um, and I stain treated the heck out of it, but there's still some stains, which is too bad, but. I did all the best work I could. So we'll sell it as is at this point, and that is quite all right. Now let me show you guys the accessories. How do I wanna do this? Okay, I'm gonna lift this bag, and I'm gonna set it right here. There's a dress on top. I think there's just like a couple of random things in here. I think with this dress, what was I gonna do? Was I gonna put this in a bins box? 
think I was thinking about putting this dress in a bins box. So we'll do that. It's very sparkly. I will put it in a bag so it does not affect the other items in there. This is some random dress. I don't know what that is. Okay. And what are you? I think this is my sweatshirt. What are you, why are you in there? Moving on. Um, this is just like an OG cabbage patch, little kids diaper fun bag. I don't know. I found it at the bins and it brought back some nostalgia. So I grabbed it. This is a really pretty scarf that I grabbed and it feels like silk, but I don't know where it's from. So I was just going to run Google lens on it. It could be nothing. Like it could be something somebody just like bought on a vacation or something like that. And that's okay. Uh, this was just like a Fenty bag, which is funny because I got those Fenty leggings like a few days later. I thought about pairing them up, but I think these are actually just meant for shoes. So I'll just sell the bag. I know it's crazy. You can sometimes just sell a bag. This is a, I think it's Brighton, given this charm. I know this to be Brighton. Brighton bag? I swear, I find Brighton bags so often. Yeah, here we go. So here's like their little Brighton Creed with a stamp on there. It's a really nice bag and it's in great condition. The bottom's in great condition. There's no markings. I wish this was a brand that I could send into the real real, but they don't accept it. Like I've tried and they don't. This bag, I had higher hopes for it, but upon getting it home, I was like, yeah, you're not as cute as I thought. Um, it's just this bowling style bag, but there's some cracking here and some cracking there. So yeah, I'm not so excited about it anymore. Uh, other weird stuff I picked up. <laughs> it's an Alex Rodriguez pin of some sort. I don't know. Uh, these Scotch Bright refillable toilet scrubbers. This stuff, like this, I'll put on Facebook Marketplace because that just seems to be a good spot for me to list that sort of stuff. This was cute. It's just a Wilson's leather crossbody little mini bag. And there's the bottom. It, um, I just want to hit it with a leather wipe. The bottom trim here, you know, I'm going to give it a B in terms of condition. And then we have, I think this is a lace sport sack, little crossbody bag. I should probably take this one home and wash it. You can wash those bags. They kind of they clean up really well in there. Some of the lace sports sack bags do better than others. So I can't tell you what that style or how well it does, but yeah, this is a Trina Turk little bathroom carry all bag, whatever. Um, yeah, cute. I'm just trying to figure out where to throw it. Okay, this, I didn't know what it was. And I went to the internets, AKA Instagram, and they helped me with it. I just thought it was a fun rainbow belt, but it's actually, um, something to help. I think it's used in like maybe hospitals or retirement homes or something um, to help move people, like move their bodies. Someone in the comments is definitely gonna let us know what it does. <laughs> and I appreciate it. Uh, this tie, I feel like I checked comps and it looked good. I maybe even thought I could send it to the real of real. Charles Jordan, Paris. I don't know. You know, you can send anything to the real real. That's what's great. This brand I never heard of before. So it's kind of like this burlap, ew, dust, burlap, burlap sack style bag. And it's called Vintage Addiction from a Distant Time. I saw they were being sold on Nordstrom's website. So now they're going to be sold on my website, aka stores. This was just a fun little wooden bag. I don't know that it's anything other than possibly vintage. There's the zipper. We'll set that there. Uh, these I definitely couldn't leave behind. They're beer goggles, <laughs> quite literally. And these are fun because these actually look vintage. When I tried searching beer goggles on eBay, because you know, why not? That's my search history now. Nothing looked like this, which I can't imagine why guys, but they're kind of so fun. I don't even know if I want to sell them. <laughs> This is a really nice leather purse from a brand I've never heard of before. It's called Kiko. And I also think maybe I searched this one and it's also sold on Nordstrom's website. It's got this cool little leather strap thing that folds over. Um, condition wise, not perfect. You know, needs a cleaning that I don't know that I'm gonna really fully give. So because of that, it will be priced accordingly. This is a Vera Bradley laptop bag in really great condition. And you know, people still love this Vera Bradley stuff. Great. 
this is uh, some Mickey Mouse ears. And yeah, they're in good condition. Uh, they don't have a strap. So I don't know if this one was supposed to have a, st a, a strap that, you know, chin strap. Uh, but they are Disney brand, which is great. People prefer to not pay full price when they're at the parks. If they can, avoid it. Um, this is just a Kate Spade sunglass case with a brand new, what's it called? Sunglass wiper thingy. So, <laughs> I will list those. Um, this is the brand Sac Roots. I've sold this brand before and it does decent. It's like a little cell phone crossbody carry all with your wallet and all that fun sort of stuff. Okay, they had these fun, where are they? Watches that I grabbed that were new in box. Let me grab, I think there's like two or three of them. But anyways, here's at least two of them. There's like a hair tie in here. Good Lord. Okay, let me just take it out of here. How crazy are these watches? Um, they're really fun. And the brand is called Cool, K-O-O-L, like the cigarettes, I don't know. The museum store, Cool Time Vertical Cone Watch, they sold for $38. I don't know how long ago, like when these are from. I do not know the details, but I thought they looked cool, so cool. <laughs> so I grabbed them. And then I also grabbed, maybe I'll make a collection of these, but just fun little bows, like vintage bows. By vintage, I mean my youth. Um, and maybe I will keep building a collection to eventually lot up and sell. I don't know what this is. I grabbed like some sort of like vintage glass case, glasses, genuine leather made in India. I don't know. I don't know guys. And also, oh yeah, here was some more of those, like a little brats, this gold one. Oh my gosh. That just totally reminds me of my youth. Uh, this was like a lace sports sack like three piece thing, travel sort of thing, belt, all this sort of stuff. I'm gonna give this a, a wash. I don't even have a good sense of smell and I smell that, so yikes. Uh, we'll set that down there. I have one more bag of accessories to show you guys. The stuff that's left over in this bag, okay wait, with the exception of the washes, is a little sketch. Um, Where's my other bag full of stuff? Was that it? I thought I had another accessories bag. Hold please. Not there. Not there. Maybe I showed it to you guys. Like maybe that was everything. <laughs> I thought I totally had more. This is the problem. I'm gonna end this haul and then I'm gonna say, oh, there's that bag I was gonna show you. But I guess that's it. Oh, I guess there was the two other things were two bags that were I was actually using to hold stuff. And that is this Stella and Dot bag. This is like a travel bag of theirs that expands. I actually have one of these. Uh, you zip this together to make it smaller or expand to make it larger. The only thing is I did wash it because it was just like kind of a mess, but the handles were already worse for wear. Mm, you know, they're here. They're present. They just don't look brand new like they used to, but I will price it accordingly because of that. And then the other one that I had that I wanted to show you guys uh, was this larger Vera Bradley travel bag. This one's really nice. See, I'm still looking for the stuff, <laughs> but it's like a large weekender bag. And again, I just threw this in the wash and it cleaned up really, really nicely. Kind of tempted to keep it, but I won't. I'm gonna sell it. And you know, that stuff's expensive. So maybe it will do well. Still looking for the stuff. Oh, the <laughs> I have these belts that I didn't show you guys either. It's a haul that won't shut up. Um, This one is a YSL, East St. Laurent, East St. Laurent belt. Uh, so that will go to the real real for sure. And then this one, I thought there was one more, but that's okay. Again, if you're from Western Washington or Washington in general, it's from the Bond, which then turned into Macy's. So this is dead stock vintage, originally $18. I don't even know what brand it is. Maybe it was just like one of their house branded items, but yeah, just a fun belt. But that's the haul, you guys. I keep looking around, like some more stuff's gonna magically appear. It hasn't yet, so if it hasn't yet, I don't know if it ever will. Otherwise, <laughs> it's been fun hanging out with you. I hope you had a great time, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.